Hey everybody, John from IPT. Today we have a Subaru 5EAT, another one. Um, these are found in Legacy, Outback, and Tribeca. This person had um, a new motor put in, and on the dyno, it started having some issues with slipping clutches. And uh, I don't have time to do a whole teardown video, but I wanted to show you guys the highlights of what's wrong with this thing. All right, the first thing we observed is um, there's a whole lot of metal in here. We got a big... Uh, Harry Jocha in the pan. Also, um, on our input shaft speed sensors, you can see these things are covered with metal. You know, they're they're magnets. And, and an activated solenoid is a magnet too. People don't um, necessarily realize that. When your transmission generates metal and a solenoid is activated, it's, it's pulling metal into itself. So it's, you gotta do a real good job cleaning all this stuff out. Okay, next up. Our front brake clutches. These things are pretty cooked. You can see all this leopard spotting or what we call hot spots on the steels. And obviously these clutches are not brown anymore. They're black. Next we have our high-low reverse clutch drum. This guy is on in high-low and reverse. And these are starting to go. You can see the hot hot spots. I'm more than starting. They're they're pretty bad, but they're not metal to metal yet. Next are our, our um, input clutches, and these are uh, usually pretty problematic. And again, these are cooked. Not metal to metal, but cooked. Next are direct clutches. These are on from third gear and up. And they're burning out as well. If you look at the top clutch, the top of the clutch isn't burnt and the bottom is, which that's usually indicative of a, a low pressure condition. So who knows, this valve body could have been all stuck up from this, this metal that's getting generated or I don't know the real scenario. I just, you know, I think the main issue with this thing, it was overpowered and it didn't have a modified uh, upgraded transmission. It, you know, everything we do is to, to prevent this kind of stuff from happening. Now, finally, we have the uh, transfer cases, uh, clutches or the transfer clutches rather. And these guys are metal to metal. Like that used to be a clutch. No lining whatsoever. We look here, we got lining on one side and, and none on the other. Like these things are pretty leveled. So all these clutches, especially this that went metal to metal and um, our other set that's kind of going metal to metal, this is what created all that metal in the pan and on the um, turbine speed sensors, etc. So th this thing, we're going to have to do the whole overhaul. Um, Maybe I'll make another video that shows all our clutch pack upgrades. You know, we get a whole lot more clutches in these clutch drums that are responsible for making a shift. Right? Some clutch drums have a static application. You put your car in gear and that clutch pack comes on. And that seems way less low than something that's a dynamic application. Like, in other words, that, that clutch has to make a, a 1-2 shift or a 2-3 shift. Those things are way more important to upgrade as far as getting more friction material in it. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.